Okay, welcome back to part two. And now we are going to talk about how to get started with PSpice and ORCAD, along with how to import libraries. So what I like to do for all my different projects is I like to have a folder. So I'm going to make a new folder. I'm just going to call this PSpice. And then I'm going to make a new folder in here. And I'm just going to call this Tutorial 1. Okay. Now that that's done, this is where we're going to save our projects at. And it's good to have a different folder for each project because they all have design files, project files, and simulation files. So now we're going to open up ORCAD Capture CIS Lite, which is what we tend to start earlier. And it'll take a minute to load the first time. Okay, we're going to make this big and we're going to hit new project now for most of the things that I do or simulations that I do it's basically your standard uh, resistor capacitor and inductor circuits along with different uh, power sources so we're just going to use an analog or mixed AD and this is what you'll run into first with piece by usually so the name I'm just going to call this tutorial one and then we're going to hit browse to find our location and that is going to be under uh, where is it at? it's going to be under C and then users Nathan which is me or it'll be whatever your username is and then desktop pspice tutorials and where did it go desktop pspice okay there we go desktop pspice and then tutorial one and then we're going to hit OK. And that is the folder that is going to save all of your project files to. And then we're going to hit OK. And we're going to hit Create a Blank Project. Then click OK again. And here we go. It presents you with this blank screen. And it allows you to do things from here. So usually the first thing you're going to want to do is scroll down. And as you can see, You'll have a bunch of different options here, and you can modify these parameters for different titles. So I'm going to double click in here, and it pulls up the wrong screen. It's just a little picky about that, so you have to make sure you double click on the right thing. There we go. So I'm just going to call this Tutorial 1. And click OK. Sometimes professors will want you to put your name there, or your class number there, or student ID there. That way, when they're grading them, they can find it easily. Um, after we do that, uh, then you're probably going to want to start placing parts. So we're going to go to this place part up here in the toolbar on the right hand side, and that's called your parts picker. Now you'll notice that it is completely empty currently. What we need to do is we need to add libraries. So we're going to click on this button right here under libraries, which is add library, and it'll pull up all of these library files. To select them all, we're going to hit Control A, which does not work. Okay, so we're going to click on the top one, scroll all the way down, Shift, and click on the bottom one, and that will select them all. And then click Open, and there we go. All of our parts are in. So now it's just to make a simple circuit. So to find a DC voltage source, that will be VDC. And there we go, VDC slash source. And we can place it. It'll just kind of show up whatever part you're placing on your cursor. And you can place it by left clicking where you want it to be at. And to get out of placing a part, you press escape and that part will disappear from your cursor. And then let's just put in a simple resistor. So we're going to type in R and R slash analog is what we want. So I'm going to double click on that. And now we see that it's sideways. If I want it to be the same way as the uh, power source, you can press R on your keyboard and that will rotate your element. And I'm just going to click here to place it and then click Escape. Now, if I wanted to zoom in, you can also press I, and for to zoom out, you can press O. So for this resistor, I'm going to leave that at 1K. For the power source, I'm going to double click on that. I'm going to change that to 
10 volts DC. I'm going to click OK. And now I'm just going to click off of that. And you can see we have plus minus right there. And then resistor is just right there. And then to place your wires, you can press W or you can click on this button right here. So I'm going to press W and then we click here. And if you have ever used uh, other simulation programs or uh, wire schematic programs, it's very similar. You just kind of click once on the node and then drag. And you can usually drag left or right and it will move up and down. But once I get here, I just like to click here again and then back up to here just to make it a nice square circuit. So there we go, that's our first circuit, and we always want to add a ground, so we're going to hit escape from here, and then here is the place ground symbol, you can click on that, and we are going to just use zero slash capsim. That is a standard ground source just to use when you're running these basic simulations. So click OK, and then you can just place it right here on the wire, and that is our circuit. I'm going to stop this tutorial here and then show you your basic bias point analysis in the next one. Thanks.